This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Good afternoon, I am Kelly Taylor and it is Super Red Friday. In just two days, the Kansas City Chiefs will go for their second straight Super Bowl championship at Raymond James Stadium. Now we do start with some good news on a pair of Chiefs players who were on the NFL's COVID restricted list. Published reports say wide receiver Demarcus Robinson has been cleared to practice today. Robinson and center Daniel Kilgore were placed on the list after they came in contact with a barber who tested positive. Now, Robin tested negative every day and is eligible to play in Super Bowl 55. One year ago, Kansas City exploded in joy after the Chiefs beat the 49ers in Super Bowl 54. Kansas City police say they expect crowds to be smaller this year because of COVID restrictions, but they will have extra officers on duty ready to respond to any problems. And they're urging Chiefs fans not to celebrate by firing a gun. One of the things we learned last year as we were celebrating is that um, once again, just like uh, around New Year's and around 4th of July, um, some people unfortunately chose to celebrate by shooting a gun off uh, into the air or in an unknown direction. Um, again, uh, you know, we harp on this and we harp on this around New Year's and 4th of July. The message is still the same, the rules still apply. Now, firing a gun into the air is a misdemeanor that can carry a sentence of up to a year in prison. And if the bullet hits someone or something, the charge can be even tougher. Last year, 911 took 160 calls about shots fired on Super Bowl Sunday. Meanwhile, more Chiefs fans are headed to Tampa today. We were there yesterday in Tampa when one group arrived. A number of fans going to Tampa told us they don't have tickets to the game. They just want to be there for the atmosphere. One couple even made the decision to go long before the Chiefs racked up a spot in the Super Bowl. We booked our flights two months ago because we knew we were going to be there. Didn't want to wait last minute. Now we're headed there now. A number of airlines added flights from Kansas City to Tampa. A last minute ticket cost will cost you about 300 bucks and Governor Mike Parson is predicting a Super Bowl win. We recently sat down with the governor to discuss important topics like unemployment benefits and vaccine distribution. Watch what happens when we asked him about the Chiefs. So what are your thoughts on the Super Bowl? Well, hold that thought just a second. OK. I like it. All right, now back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> now, as now you can see, the governor got up and changed his jacket just so he could talk football. He said he loves the Chiefs and go loved going to the Super Bowl, but turned down a ticket this year because he feels he needs to be in Missouri focusing on the vaccine. But he did give us this firm prediction. And at the end of the day, the good news is we're going to win. It's going to be a 35-21. Uh, sorry for old Tom Brady, but, you know, time Father clock's passing you by and the new kids in towns. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your Friday weather update. Enjoy a seasonable afternoon and what I mean by seasonable temperatures close to normal for this time of year under a partly to mostly sunny sky. But then as we get through this evening, temperatures fall pretty quickly under a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures dropping into the 30s, then back into the middle 20s as you start the day Saturday. Weather alerts for both days this weekend. That's because we're expecting snow, especially to start the first day of your Saturday and then and continue through the afternoon, but falling off through the evening. Temperatures may get stuck near 20 for a majority of the day, gradually falling into the single digits when you wake up on Sunday morning. And then there could be another brief snow shower or two and a couple of flurries, especially north of the 435 loop with temperatures getting stuck in the teens and wind chill values close to zero. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.